Hey folks, happy Monday. We continue our pastor's devotional um, with our uh, FUMC CV uh, May prayer calendar. It is Monday, May 24th. And the mission organization that, we're, that we are praying for is a... Um, is an organization uh, by the name of Wesley Community Centers of Savannah. And these, um, is a, this is a mission organization supported by the United Methodist Women and started uh, by the United Methodist Women. In 1949, uh, they uh, started a house for 25 children. Uh, and it has just grown in all kinds of different ways uh, through the years today. Uh, they serve about 8,000 people and their goal is to help people exit poverty to become self-sufficient. <clears throat> they run education programs, uh, schools, uh, housing uh, programs, hunger uh, programs, employment programs, all kinds of stuff that happens um, out of the uh, Wesley Community Centers of Savannah. Exciting stuff there. So um, I want to, uh, it, it calls to mind a kind of faithfulness that I think we see in a way in the book of Romans. So turn in the book of Romans to chapter 14, Romans chapter 14. So Romans is in your New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, um, Acts, Romans. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. <clears throat> Romans chapter 14, verse 7. This was written to uh, by Paul, um, and it's written to a group of Jewish Christians who are living in Rome, and they're undergoing some, some really uh, horrific persecution at this point. And so he's encouraging them to remain faithful, to keep the faith, to stay faithful in, in uh, light of great challenges that they are having. Um, and he writes this, Romans chapter 14, 7. We do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or die, <clears throat> whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. And if you read above this in chapter 14 a little bit, he's talking about sort of judging one another and judging who's better and, and quarreling over who eats meat, sacrifice to idols and who doesn't. And it's a lot about self. And what he's saying is we don't live to ourselves. Christianity is not a selfish faith. Christianity is about us living in the Lord. And when we live in the Lord, then our way of life becomes clear. And this passage came to mind, at, you know, day after day after day, we're praying for these um, United Methodist Mission projects, and, and many of them that were started by just a, a few group, a few um, women in some United Methodist church, usually before it was even a United Methodist church, uh, just a, a few women of deep faith who looked around their community and they saw that there was suffering that they wanted and they thought that they might be able to alleviate. Those women were not living for themselves. They sacrificed so much and worked so hard so that they might live in the Lord and that living in the Lord then led them to caring for these others. And so we just give thanks for those who have done that. And uh, I guess my question, <clears throat> my challenge, my encouragement today would be to discover another way in your life which you might live to the Lord. God bless. Have a great day.